GIS data is served in a variety of different formats. One of the formats that it's served in is a zipped format. It's a compressed format that usually contains a variety of different files. Some containing the attribute data, some containing the vector or raster uh, physical spatial data, and others, other files containing the linkages between the attributes and the spatial information. So oftentimes this data is zipped up. One of the different formats is a GZ or GNU zipped format. It's a Unix zip compression format. Let's take a look at how we might download and use data in a GZ format inside our GIS. Here on the National Atlas site or nationalatlas.gov, I'm interested in streams and water bodies. Let's take a look first at the map, map maker and see what that streams and water bodies layers, layer looks like. So as we can see here, it's a sort of a medium scale, medium resolution vector data set containing streams and water bodies. If I click on streams and water bodies, I'm actually going to go to the link that has the raw data download. So I'm going to click on streams and water bodies there. As we can see, the streams and water bodies layer shows up right here. See how it says shape file and underneath that is our file that we are needing and it is a tar.gz format. Now TAR is an old Unix format <clears throat> standing for Tape Address Register and GZ is the fact that it's zipped up. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. There is my file and I'm going to go ahead and open it. It says the archive contains one file, hydro m020.tar. Should WinZip, which is my default on this computer, decompress it to a temporary folder and open it? Now I could just as easily have used 7-Zip, but I'm going to use WinZip here. I'm going to just go ahead and say yes, and it's going to extract that GZ and the tar into a folder of my choosing. Okay, here is the folder with all my files in it. Let's take a look at what those files might mean. First of all, it's Hydro. I knew that. It streams and water bodies. There's an L set of files and a P set of files. But in short, right now, the P files are polygons, the, the L files are lines. So basically, we've got stream lines, and then we've got the lakes polygons. So I'm going to go ahead and extract that to a folder on my computer. I'm going to make a folder, streams and water bodies, and that's where I'm going to extract it. Great. Now I've started ArcMap and I'm going to start with a blank map. And I'm going to go ahead and add the two layers that I've just unzipped. So find the directory and there's my streams and water bodies folder. Okay, I've got two two shape files in there. I've got a lines file and a polygon file. I also have a text file that contains some metadata. I'm going to go ahead and add the two shape files, and it's given me a warning that they don't have any spatial reference, which is true of many of the layers inside National Atlas. So I'd have to go ahead and project those, which I'll do in a moment. But for right now, let's just go ahead and zoom in on that data. Zoom in on the 48 states here. So, as suspected, we have two different layers. We've got a polygons. We also have Here's the polygons table. Basically every every lake in the data set has its separate record, so it's 21,868 lakes. Let's go ahead and look at the streams. Maybe make those blue just for fun. Okay, so there's our streams layer. And how many stream segments do we have? We have 76,795 Let's raise that up so you can see it. 76,975 uh, streams in the data set. That is, in a nutshell, how to unzip a GNU zip and a tar file from a site such as National Atlas. Let's go ahead and do the same thing using 7-Zip. Okay, with 7-Zip now, let's go ahead and just start over and uh, save, go ahead and save, download that file once more, and this time we'll open it up with 7-Zip. Okay, I've just downloaded the file once more. Let's take a look at where it goes. In my case, it goes to this Downloads folder. 
uh, there it is right there hydro gm 020targzz now my default on my machine is opening with WinZip but if I go ahead and go to 7-zip which I also have installed on this machine so I'm gonna go ahead and, and open the archive if I open the archive there it is and if I say open here when complete it's going to give me exactly the same thing I had with WinZip. Now, I didn't change the directory, but I can certainly do that here, and I'd probably want to do that if I'm going to work with it uh, for any length of time inside my GIS. I don't want it sitting here under the Documents and Settings folder. I want it actually in my Project uh, folder. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, get it out of the Documents and Settings uh, folder and copy it to a place where I can work with it. In short, though, I've got the same number of files I've got uh, three files associated with lines and three files associated with uh, polygons, plus I have this text file, which is the metadata file, that describes uh, a little bit more about the streams and water bodies layer from the National Atlas. So there you have it. That's how you download and start using data that's in tar.gz format on National Atlas or any other site. Thanks.